Barrow in Furness. The next stop is Workington. Coast to coast time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super apprehensive. It's day zero, I start the walk tomorrow. I'm in my B&B. &B. Check it, check it. Check it out. It's actually really lovely. Cheap and cheerful. A few brews, as they say up north. And a comfortable bed. Just had a wee snooze, it was all good. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about tomorrow, so Tomorrow's day one, looking forward to it. We can do this, come on. You leave St. Peter's as a boy, but you finish as a man. here and I'm proper excited. So the tradition is that I put my feet in the water and take a pebble and carry it from the Irish Sea where I'm starting here in St. Bees and then carry it all the way to Robin Hood's Bay in the North Sea. Let's do this. One for me, one for my homies. And let's just dip the feet. Ah. <laughs> dip the feet in. There you go, there you go. Get them wet, get them wet. You are. <laughs> Can't see my face. It's happening, it's happening. This is live. Slightly apprehensive, but we're gonna do it. Let's do this, let's do this. That, I believe, is the Isle of Man. Interestingly, I just got welcome to the Isle of Man text message. So that was obviously the Isle of Man. Taking the inroad, I wanted to see this lighthouse. Beautiful. So I started around nine o'clock, been walking for about an hour and I can already see the Lake District just coming into view now. I'm heading inland now. I think I've probably done about two miles today. So I'm aiming to do anything sort of north of 21 miles I'll be pleased with. There's a car coming. That guy thought I was completely nuts, but hey, talking to a camera. Okay, that just came into view. I was wondering where I was going and then the English Lake District, that's where I'm headed. People and the Irish Sea. It's gonna be out of view soon. And I've just come from that direction. Got some severe traffic issues coming up. This is M25 style chaos. Gonna have to navigate this. Really nice couple actually. I saw them leave a place in St. Bees. Then I stopped for breakfast and I think they went straight onto the walk, which means I've had a breakfast in the time that they've got to this stage and I've already overtaken them, which makes me think I'm walking way too fast. I've got to try and pace myself. Either the couple back there just slipped me a pill or Multicolored bales. Christian. Thanks, Moro Residents Association, 2007.
by it. I just had to take a detour, which I think Craig mentioned in one of his videos from Wild Camper 101. I think that's his, I think that's his name. They're doing some forestation, so I've had to go around, which probably adds on a little bit more, but kind of walking, uh, walking on this stuff instead. So I'm kind of glad, glad for it. It's nice and flat, albeit just met a guy who's had both of his hips operated on and he he would rather walk on the grass I think but yeah we'll get there I'm gonna stop for a coffee in a bit someone needs to amend that Pint of Wainwrights. Well earned. So I'm on to I'm at Ennodale Bridge. This is about the 14 mile mark ish. A bit later than I'd planned, I got lost. Um, I got lost. But we're all good, we're back on track. So I'm gonna try and get through Ennodale Water. Get to the other side through the woods on the other side of that, get about 22 miles done. I'm running out of time a little bit, but I've just stopped for some food, so we'll see how we go. Good so far. It's good. Tough. Um, but good. Right, I've just had a pint and a bit of food. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm looking like Eminem, it's because it's getting a bit chilly. It's about four o'clock, nearly. 3.30. Uh, I'm going to try and get to the end of Ennerdale Water if I can and find a spot to camp. Join it so far. If anyone wants to buy a tractor in the Lake District, the brand to get is John Deere. They're all John Deere. See you in a bit. One thing that my legs didn't particularly want to do after that late lunch was work again they kind of seized up and my feet felt sensitive but they seem to be after a few more minutes of walking it seems to be back on track that was funny though they just gave up for a second I think this is the challenge of this is I think the mental aspect rather than the, the physical I think physically you'll get through Hopefully. Actually, it's probably both. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's day one. Oh, easy fella. Toadstool. Old school one. That's horse water done. Some amazing spots around here to pitch up a tent, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep going. I think I'm nearly at the 20 mile mark. There's a youth hostel coming up and the temptation to stay in there is overwhelming. But I'm gonna see if I can get to that, see how I feel. See if I can get to Black Sail Hut and possibly slightly beyond. It's kind of getting a bit dark. We'll see. Come on. So I'm pitched and I found a decent spot. I got as far as the Black Sail Hut, which is a hostel and went inside. And I did ask for a room. Um, so I'm at the 23 mile mark. The guy said it's like 35 pounds a night and the food smelled amazing and it was just so inviting and warm and I said ah, I got a camp on my first night so I said can I stick my tent outside the front and he said no you have to be within 300 yards of the building however there's a really good spot down the way so I'm down the way it's next to a couple of trees I've got a stream next to me I've got a flat bit of grass I've got some food on the go so I'm happy today was a long day it was 23 miles tomorrow's going to be about 20 
into Patterdale tomorrow from Black Sail where I am now. So another 20 miles is going to be a lot more hilly tomorrow. Have a look at this. Oh, so we go up onto the tops tomorrow. Up on those ones. And the forecast tomorrow, the forecast tomorrow is rain. So hopefully it will be good. But I'm expecting rain all day. But hey ho, it's been really good so far. That was getting tough towards the end there, but I managed I'm so happy I pulled through on day one. I managed to get the miles in I wanted to, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye now because I'm gonna start blowing up my sleeping mat. So I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching so far. Morning, morning, G wagons. Oh, I slept pretty well last night. A bit on and off, as you can hear. I don't know if you can hear. It's raining, which I was expecting. I mentioned last night. It's going to be a day of rain, I think. So I've got some waterproofs. I'm going to put them on. I'm going to get a coffee on and some breakfast. I don't know how much filming I'm going to be able to do today because of the weather, but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get some breaks in the rain. So I'm going to get something to eat, have a coffee. It's about nearly seven o'clock. Pack my stuff away as best I can with the rain and get moving. I've got 20 miles today, so I'm into Patterdale. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to see Angleton and those ones, and so maybe, maybe there. But hopefully, as far as Patterdale, see how see what the elevation is like. I think it's quite hilly today, so yeah, excited day two. Right, I'm done. I'm, I'm all packed up. This is where I stayed last night. Amazing spot. This river, nice water source. That was really good. It's uh, the rain's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be too bad. I'll. I'm headed up there now. Up through that little valley, up onto the tops. So if it's not too hazy, then I'll, then I'll bring you back when we get to the top. Okay, quick update EO. Uh, I found this nice little pub, so I just stopped for well, what was hoping to be a, pipe, a bit of lunch. I'm in Rothswaite now. Uh, unfortunately, I've realized how you need to be good at navigating maps and stuff for this trip. I got drastically wrong today. I got drastically lost, sorry. And I've realized how, um, yeah, and it, and it sent me off massively off course. So I've covered maybe seven miles and it's nearly three o'clock. It is three o'clock, it's like 3.30. So I'm gonna, I've adjusted my plan slightly, which is fine. I'm gonna try and get to Grasmere and use lots of this. It's my best friend at the moment. So yeah, gonna head off in a minute. They don't sell, they don't sell food here. They stop at 2.30. So I've got a seven mile walk to get some food. Anyway, stop moaning. Stop moaning. <laughs> we'll be good. We'll be good. Um, I'm going to plough onto Grasmere. It's seven miles, about a two-hour walk, and then find me somewhere to sleep and get some food. Guys, guys, has anyone seen Grasmere at all? It's getting a bit dark, and you know, I need to need to get showered and stuff. Where are you going? Day three, slept well. I found a hostel late last night. It was a, I got into Grasmere around nine o'clock, had some food at the Traveller's Rest, and then from there booked a hostel and camped the night where I am now in the gardens in the hostel. 
really good night's sleep, but it's just late getting in. I managed to annoy a couple next to me in the tent. So, future advice. <laughs> Try and be quiet if you're coming late at night into a campsite. Um, just about to have some breakfast. I've got showers here, which is fantastic. Ah, oh, that was amazing, amazing hostel. If anyone's in Grasmere doing this walk, stay in the youth hostel, which is in the south of uh, the south of the village. So I pitched up with my tent, and just having the showers and the amenities was just felt fantastic. So I feel rejuvenated, and subsequently I slept in a little bit. So it's about 9:30. I've got a beast of a day today. I'm going to try and get to Shap. I think that's a bit optimistic. So maybe Angle Tarn, I lane for. There are a couple of quite high peaks. A couple of quite high peaks. Uh, so yeah, I might be optimistic to get to Shaft. It's about 23 miles. So we'll see. Let's try and get to Angle Tarn and see how we do. Catch you in a bit. Angle Tarn. So that wasn't a crazy day. What a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Basically walked from Grasmere, Grasmere as I'm now calling it, Grasmere, um, to, to Shap, 23 miles. Met a lovely lady called Sue. Her partner died in May of cancer, sadly. She was amazing. She, we, we walked the whole way together. We're just staying in these like little pods in this pub garden that we rocked up in. Got here about 9 p.m. Left Grasmere about 9.30, about 12 hour day, 23 miles. Got to this, got to this pub. Guy said we got a couple of pods in the back. So I'm just in this little lovely just room in the garden. It's not really wild campy, but who cares? I've got to Shap three days in, 58 miles. So I'm, I couldn't, couldn't be happier with that. I'm trying to do it in nine days. Come on, it's still on, it's still on. Um, but yeah, what a day. Over Kidsey Pike, the highest point on the whole route. We were done with the Lake District now. We're at Shap. Now it's, I think, pretty flat day into Kirkby Stephen tomorrow. It's about 19 miles, but it's got to be a walk in the park, hasn't it, compared to compared to this one. So with, um, with just the flatter ground, so... Yeah, feeling really positive. Just I've not had anything to eat tonight. I had a quick beer and a packet of crisps, but other than that, I've not had a main meal. So I'm gonna have a nice big breakfast in the morning um, and just get some snooze. <sighs> Amazing. Just yeah, couldn't be happier to be here in one piece. And we're done with the Lake District. Onto the Yorkshire Dales, but not for a day or so. <laughs> 